In this example, we're going to use curve sketching strategy to sketch the graph of the function f of x equals one third x to the third minus two x squared plus three x plus one. Identify the interval of increase decrease, where increase means the f prime positive, decrease means the f prime negative. Local extrema, so you can either use the first derivative test or the second derivative test. The interval of concave up, concave down. This one, you can use the F double prime as F double prime positive, concave up, F double prime negative, concave down. The point of inflection, whether F double prime equals zero or F double prime undefined, and the side chain from positive to negative or negative to positive of f double prime. Okay, so we're gonna get started with uh, finding the f prime, which is x to the second minus four, x plus three, and the second derivative, which is two x minus four. And next we're gonna find the critical value in order to find the um, increasing, decreasing interval. Okay, critical value found by using the F prime. So F prime equals zero. The undefined case is not considered because this is a polynomial function. So F prime is x squared minus four x plus three equals zero. Factor completely to get x minus three times x minus one equals zero. Therefore, we have x equals three and x equals one as the critical values. Then we're gonna, from the real number line, locate the two numbers one and three on the f prime line, okay? And recall the f prime line is in the factor form that what we just did while we were solving for the critical value, I will use the, the, the complete, completely factor form that's easier to determine the sign as positive sign or negative sign. Think about the value that greater than three. For the number greater than three, we place it in the first factor, you get positive sign and then if you replace in the second factor, you still get the positive inside. Positive times positive, you're gonna get positive as a product or the side of the F prime. For the second, the second one, if you replace the X with the value between one and three, for example, the number two, you're gonna start with the negative side for the first factor. And then the second one, it will be positive, but the overall product side gonna be negative. And then the last one, which is less than one. If less than one, for example, zero, you're gonna get the first factor as the negative inside and the second factor as the negative side as well. So the overall product side gonna be plus side. So with the positive and negative side, we can get the interval of increase, decrease. So we're gonna wrap up here. So the function, so the function f of x, is increasing on the interval negative infinity to one and three to infinity and decreasing on the interval one comma three because negative psi decreasing, positive psi increasing. So we get the interval increase decreased. Next, we're gonna identify the local max, local min based on the, the diagram that we just obtained here. Use the first derivative test. So I'm gonna be right here. So the first derivative test and use, I borrowed the same real number line that we just um, identify. So one here, three here, plus psi minus psi plus psi for the f prime. The size chain 
from positive to negative and negative to positive. So with this way to analyze, we can see that the local maximum occurs at, at x equals one and the local mean occur at x equals three. So with this, we can write it out as the local max equals f at one and replace the value into the function to get uh, seven over three. And the local minimum value occurs at three. So f at three equals the value one. So as you see on the graph here, at one, seven over three, give you the local max. At three, the value is one, that gives you the local min. By using the first derivative test. So this part is done. And the next part, concave up, concave down. To identify the concave up, concave down, we're gonna use the second derivative. From the second derivative f double prime equals uh, 2x minus four, let's double check. So 2x minus four, we're gonna find the hypercritical. Hypercritical value can be found by solving f double prime equals zero. So we get x equals the value two. And if you write this as a most common factor, so it's gonna be two times x minus two for the f double prime expression. So we get the hypercritical value as x equals two. Then we're gonna use the real number line to determine again, but it's gonna be the real number line for the f double prime at two. And this is the line for the f double prime in the factorable form, like two times x minus two. Determine the sign on the right side of the two. Pick the value, for example, if x equals three, three minus two, that positive side. So I get the plus sign for the right interval, just different color here. So a plus sign here. And then for the interval on the left side of the two, for example, the value zero, the sign of the f, prime, f double prime gonna be negative. For the positive side, is concave up. For the negative side, concave down. Okay, with this way, you can tell that the x equals two is the point of inflection because the sign switch from negative to positive. Now we're gonna summarize it as the function f of x is concave up on the interval two comma infinity and concave down on the interval negative infinity comma two. And then the point of inflection occurs at x equals two. And from the graph, as you see, the graph is increasing from negative infinity to positive one and increasing again from one to infinity, decreasing between zero and one. And for the inflection point that occurs at two, 